is the next four poems from Audrey Beecham's The Coast of Barbary, starting with The Shot J on page 7. I shot a jay and put his few bright feathers in my cap. Forget me not, and iris blue, flecked through with white, just like an eye chopped small, its pieces interspersed, but still an eye, mocking and gay. With those bright feathers plucked, the jay his harsh throat stopped, his copper's nark in forming way cut off, is coloured much the same as sodden leaves on which he lies, camouflaged beneath the skies in curious and neutral gaze. Twenty past the hour. Tonight I saw Johnny in his chair, skull thrown back, pipe in his teeth, a skeleton in tweed, and all the rest of us a freeze, dancing to the naked fiddler. How often will a breeze arrest the moment's optimistic mood, and point to some point in time, momentarily not understood, but halting, like goose flesh, what's just been said, and then they say, it's twenty past the hour. An angel must be flying overhead. The Square Three whom I loved at different times Lived near to hear and knew not me As link between, Although the chimes they heard at night Unite all three With these same shadows that they'd see Surely my ghost shall haunt this square, where once my night was chime-struck air. Three whom I loved here long ago gave what I cherish now at last. By parting what is left may grow, the radiant snake when slough is past, the tree renewed by bows it cast. Surely my ghost shall haunt this square, since thrice my heart was hunted here. Three whom I love have long since died, are lying far away apart, each miles from each. Yet they reside this night so present in my heart, that each of each and me are part. Surely my ghost shall haunt this square, and I most want my burial there. Lost I have sung a proposition to the wind, carried to no ears, the rose blown over in the unnoticed garden. I have sung a proposition to the wind. Footprints filled with sand, unseen, Reeds bent by the tranquil liquid glass. But for my glance, lost the ripple of suffering's furthest curve, the swerve of the swallow over my submerged head, lost the dead. I did make a few errors in my reading, for which I hope I'll be forgiven. I'm trying to record these wonderful poems by this, it seems, completely forgotten poet, unjustly so.